Good morning, fellow privateers. Welcome to the North American wrap and Asian preview here for Wednesday, Wednesday in Asia, January 24th. Let's get right to the charts. Some interesting uh, price action overnight and a few things. Let's take a look here at Euro Yen. 135, 18 to 20 area. We've had multiple lows. I like selling that break. Um, you can see here dollar yen is under a little bit of pressure here in early Asia. Um, you know, it's kind of it kind of stalled around this 110.30. But we're now taking out these lows just barely. If we pop over to the daily, you can see that we're taking out last week's low at 110.18. I actually thought we'd see some stops hit. Um, we, we may still under 110 the figure. Let's pop over the weekly. Um, you know, we haven't been down this low since about all the way back in, uh, in September. So to me, it looks like we're going to, we're, we're going to continue to test lower. We're now approaching the, One hundred week moving average. Let's see where we are on the on the daily. We're below the hundred day and the two hundred day. Um, if we scroll back here, let's draw a quick fibo just to see where we are because I think we're at some pretty important, getting close to some important support levels. And the one hundred seven handle low up to the one fourteen handle high. You can see here one ten fifteen. There's good confluence here. We had that low last week, and this two-thirds FIBO below there is all the way down to the high 108s. So we do have a daily low here, 109.55. We'll keep an eye on this. For uh, There should be some stops under 110 to figure. There's supposed to be some barriers. And uh, let's pop over, look at Aussie Yen. Aussie was under, you see this very, very ugly daily bar. Um, from Tuesday, this was a bearish engulfing. It's a combination of market. Maybe we're hoping for a, a more dovish Corona. Couple that with tariffs out of Trump. Iron ore, copper were both down quite a lot in Asia yesterday, which uh, lent to uh, the Aussie selling and the, the this this pretty ugly bar. Um, I would keep an eye on this 87.90 level. That was today, the Tuesday's low. Under there, there's plenty of room down to, you know, 87, 20, 30 area. Uh, Euro yen, we talked about. That's that level there. Sterling yen. Not much in sterling yen. Sterling's been very strong. You can see here, uh, sterling finally got above 140. We got the barrier yesterday in Asia, and then I had a nice pullback down to uh, down to 139. What was that low in London? 139.20 ish. But we're closing strong, uh, back above the 140 handle. Euro dollars back above 123. So it's really just persistent dollar weakness. Um, you know, I think some of this is trade war, which is not good for the dollar. Um, you know, we are approaching this high of this entire this entire cycle high, which is 123.23. We're only 10 points shy of that. Um, so we are seeing broad-based dollar selling. Uh, Here's dollar China back down to, and we would like to watch this. This is a good barometer for the overall dollar. You know, we're getting back down to this 639 level that we uh, tested yesterday. And then and when the tariffs came out, it, it had a nice big figure and a half pop. So, again, it's still sell dollar on rallies. It is dollar yen could get a little bit ugly under 110 the figure. Expecting some stops. And 
we're pretty much just waiting. There's not, not, not much out on the economic calendar. We have UK jobs overnight in London, and then we're, everyone's just waiting for the ECB meeting on Thursday. So keep your powder dry and, uh, and be, be patient because, uh, you know, intraday vol is picking up a bit. There are some opportunities. There is some follow through on some of these break trades that we highlight and, uh, good luck. And, uh, Look out for us on the European Open. Good luck. Thanks.